friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day and I am back with another massive haul. I decided to make my Costco run early so I can avoid it during the holidays. So I have a massive, massive haul for you so if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's hop in to this massive haul. So the first part of my haul is from Costco. I decided to make a Costco run before it gets too insane for the holidays. I did need a few things for baking, a few things for Christmas, so I picked everything up that I needed so I don't have to go back until after the holidays. So let me show you what I picked up. I did pick up a case of Fairlife. I always buy a case of protein shakes when I go to Costco or Sam's Club. I have a protein coffee every morning. So I go through them rather quickly. I did notice that they're $31.49 and I remember them being like $28.99, maybe $29.99. Man, inflation is real, but I did pick up a case of chocolate Fairlife and then a two pack of fat free milk. Troy prefers skim milk, but Costco only has fat free. I just grabbed him fat free. The Rayos pasta sauce was on sale, two for $9. That is such a good deal. Nice clean ingredients, my all time favorite marinara sauce. And then also on sale for $8.99 was the three pack of the Crest Advanced Complete Care mouthwash. We go through, both Troy and I use mouthwash every night, every morning. So we go through it pretty quickly and that was an amazing deal. Speaking of deals, this salsa, mango chamoy salsa was $1.97. I think they're phasing this out and I think that it's something that maybe Costco's not going to carry anymore. I am going to be doing a charcuterie board and just finger foods and snacks on Christmas Eve instead of a dinner. We're going to have dinner Christmas Day at my in-laws. My in-laws are coming here for Christmas Eve. So I thought I would do chips and salsa. So this is going to come in handy. And then I needed some more black pepper. I am almost out of pepper. These are my very favorite heavenly hunks. <laughs> you guys hear Palmer whining, little turd. These are the organic cranberry white chocolate chip heavenly hunks. I love these. They are so good. I like to pair them with a protein, like a meat stick or a cheese stick. They're really good to have for dessert as well. And they have good ingredients, nice real ingredients. And then I did pick up another two pack of the four bean salad for Troy. It's his favorite. Like I always say, it reminds me of my dad. My dad used to eat this all the time. I think it's utterly disgusting. Comment down below if you like four bean salad. I also got a big bag of the Snack Factory pretzel. Palmer, it's not your stuff. This is for the groceries. Can you wait till I'm done? Palmer, can you wait till I'm done? Like your sister who's being witty really good? Thank you, buddy. A big bag of the Snack Factory Pretzel Crisps. This is for the charcuterie board, and then I love pretzels and peanut butter. I like having these as a snack. And then I grabbed a big thing of vanilla. I have a lot of holiday baking to do. I'll be making my Christmas cookies, tons of them, tons and tons and tons for parties. So I picked up some vanilla extract, $11.99, amazing deal. With Christmas, we go through a lot of batteries for all of our lighted things. So we're almost out of our AA and our AAA, and both of these were on sale for $17.99 each, I believe. And then I picked up just some cage-free eggs for baking. I prefer to have better eggs for eating, like if I'm making eggs for breakfast, but for baking, these were only $3.99. And then I grabbed these for the charcuterie board for Christmas Eve. These are the salted caramel macadamia nuts. These were on sale for $9.99. I mean, look how amazing those look. I wanted to do a little bowl of nuts on the charcuterie board. Also for the board, I grabbed some Italian dry salami. This was $10.99 for two huge packs. That's an amazing deal. And Troy will actually eat this with meat, cheese, and crackers. So I grabbed that. It doesn't expire till 2025 or four. And then I picked this up. This sounds absolutely amazing. This is Wesleydale, Wensleydale cheese with cranberries. I saw cranberries and thought must have for the charcuterie board. And then I also picked up this huge pack of just pre-sliced ready to go cheese. None of this expires until 2024. So I'm just going to tuck it away in the fridge and we'll have everything we need for the board. I also grabbed a ton. And when I say a ton of dog treats, I mean a ton because they were on 
sale. So I stocked up, so I got the Doggy Delirious Turkey and Sweet Potato Biscuits, these have human grade ingredients, really nice and clean. Also, these dogs love chicken jerky. This is literally just chicken. So again, a nice clean ingredient. The blue buffalo chicken and apple rounds were on coupon. My dogs actually really, really like these. And then I also got the duck jerky from Butcher's Naturals. All of these treats have nice clean ingredients. And then these were on sale too. These don't have as good of ingredients, but Palmer gets a little one every morning. Lola gets a little better belly and Palmer gets one of these as part of their morning routine. So I picked these up because they were only $10.99. And then two packs of Kerrygold butter. I'm out of butter altogether. And then of course, lots of baking, like I said, for the holidays. These were on sale for $10.99. I also grabbed some uncured Black Forest ham for sandwiches. And I like to do roll-ups where I roll this around a pickle or cheese stick for a good protein snack. And then I also grabbed two packs of raspberries because these were $2.99. That is a killer, killer deal. So I picked up two. And then the only thing you don't see is a case of Gatorade Zero for Troy. So that's everything from Costco. Let's jump into the rest of the haul. And the rest of this week's grocery haul is from my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. I got everything I need to make my sugar cookies and picked up some fun holiday things. I, like I said, I have a couple parties to go to and then just some staples for the holidays. So let me show you what I got. So they have these little Lindor and Ghirardelli peppermint squares for four for five. I'm going to toss one of these in each of the gifts that I have. So we have to bring two gifts to the holiday party tonight and we have to bring and I have to bring one gift to my boot camp party. So I thought this would be just kind of a fun thing to throw in there. So I did one of the Lindor peppermint truffles and then two of the Ghirardelli peppermint squares. I also got two of these platters. They say joy to the world. I thought they were really cute. They were $2.99 and they're a tin platter. The back is also super cute. I got these to put the cookies on to take to the party. I always just leave the cookies there and that way I can just leave the tray. And then I got this candle. I'm doing a self-care kind of gift. So this is iced gingerbread latte. This smells amazing. It was like $4. So I'm going to throw that in along with a blanket and Bath and Body Works lotion and body wash, a little whole self-care moment. And then of course I got candy canes because you already know it's my favorite candy. I limit myself to having them at Christmas. The minis for some reason are my favorite and I love this Spangler brand versus the Brock's brand. These I think were $3 or something. So I picked up one box and then I got a ton of wax melts. So these ones from the brand Candlelight were a dollar. So that was a killer deal. So I got cinnamon rolls, mango nutmeg, or I'm sorry, pumpkin nutmeg pie, evening fireside glow, and then sunlit mandarin berry. They were the most fall winter scents. And then I got two of these. These were $1.74 fireside comfort. It smells like pine and berries. It smells really good. I got two of those. Those were $1.74. Then I got some food coloring because I dye the frosting of my sugar cookies and I can't remember if I had any leftover from last year. So I did pick that up. We're going to have a homemade pizza night. You guys will see that in Wednesday's what I eat in a day. So I picked up pizza sauce for that and then I needed canned pumpkin for my breakfast meal prep and then I got olives. I'm not gonna spend $5 on sliced olives when these are $2. I'm just gonna slice them myself. So I made sure that I got the extra large so I can slice those for the pizzas. And then scored on meat. I always stop by the meat section to look for deals. I got a pound of 96 four ground beef for 517. I got a pound of 93.7 for 482. And then this is a two pound block for 1034. Also amazing, amazing price. I just tossed them in the freezer. And then I did grab two 93 93.7 ground turkeys. These were $3 and 47 cents a piece. Killer, killer meat deals. I always snag them whenever I see them. I also got these fun holiday cheer tortilla chips. That salsa I bought at Costco, the mango one. I'm gonna bring that to the party tonight along with these fun Christmas color tortilla chips. And then of course my frosted sugar cookies. This little loaf of pumpkin bread. This was in the reduced bakery section. So it was half off. It was $3 and 40 cents. And then I also got the cute little mini danishes. These were like a dollar, dollar fifty. These are really good. They're the perfect size 
side to have with breakfast with some protein. I think these are the strawberry cream cheese, really good. I got a zero sugar cake mix. This is for my meal prep. I'm really excited for what I'm making in meal prep. Stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on my menu for dinners and Monday's meal prep. I got some potato salad for Troy. He really likes this and it was on sale for $3.63. And then all of these Sargento shredded cheeses were buy one, get one free, which made them about $2.20 a bag. Really good. So I got some reduced fat four cheese Mexican blend for the pizzas. And then I got my favorite, just regular thick cut cheese. This is my favorite on salads. I love it on like eggs and scrambles. It just adds such a good cheesy flavor. So I picked that up. And then they had the Simple Truth Organic or the Simple Truth Sour Cream for $1.43. It doesn't expire till the middle of December. So I don't know why it was such a good deal, but we will use that up before it expires. And then the mother load of frosting. If you want to know how I make my homemade cookies, I have a recipe on my recipe website. If you look up famous sugar cookies, it will pop up. It is not calorie or WW friendly. It's a Christmas cookie recipe and they are incredible. And so what I do when I make the frosting is I mix cream cheese and regular vanilla or buttercream together. I thought this was funny. Dolly Parton has her own line of cake mixes and frosting. Is she a baker? I, I was like, that's interesting. She's a country singer, but I thought it was really cute and didn't change the price or anything. These were actually three for five. So fantastic deal. So two cream cheese, two buttercream. And then instead of Fairlife milk, I got the Carb Master. It was less expensive and it's less calories and less added sugar than Fairlife. And a lot of you have recommended it. You know, I use this for protein shakes. So I got the chocolate in place of the chocolate Fairlife. And then I got the vanilla in place of regular because I do have some regular Fairlife. And I thought that might add a little bit of flavor to my protein shake. So I'm going to test this out. Like I said, it was a little less expensive, a little less protein, but less calories. The Fairlife is one. 140 and this one's 80 and then this one's only 60 versus 80 so we're going to test it out see if I like it as much as Fairlife let me know down below if you've tried it and what you think versus the Fairlife milk and then I got this salad kit it was a dollar 60 and I'm going to make a salad for lunch today I air fried some just bare chicken nuggets and I have leftovers of those so I'm going to whip up a quick salad a couple of tomatoes for a dinner recipe, mushrooms for the pizza. I thought that would be really good added to the pizza. And then some fresh cilantro also for a dinner recipe. I picked up four or three 24 packs of Diet Coke. They were eight bucks, such a good deal. Those are out in the garage. So that is everything for this week's haul. Let's hop into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. Here is the meal plan for the week. Today dinner is out. Technically we're going to a Christmas party. Tomorrow I'm making chicken Alfredo per Troy's request. Monday I'm gonna do a homemade pizza. You guys will see that in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday we're doing a big cob salad. And then Thursday and Friday we'll do leftovers as well just to finish up everything from earlier in the week. Now here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm so excited. So for breakfast, I'm doing cinnamon protein waffles. We're gonna do little mini waffles. For lunch, I'm doing taco mac and cheese. I'm so excited for this. I've been craving mac and cheese. And then for dessert, we're doing eggnog cake. Yes, ma'am, eggnog cake is coming. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for another massive grocery haul. Now you're not gonna see a massive haul for a while because we are good through the haul holidays. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a grocery haul or any other video. Also check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.